Hey guys. So yesterday I found this vacuum out in someone's garbage pile and I figured I'd pick it up and take it apart because there should be at least two motors in it. One main motor for the vacuum module and one motor for the brush power on the base. So I'm going to get to taking it apart and show you kind of how that goes. First things first, we're going to take out all the screws. Alright, I see some more screws, so I'm just going to take those off. Switch. have the motor and the vacuum module. White is on the left and black is on the right. There we go. Now I could just cut these wires, but I want to get the original connections off because they have the right size connections to the motor on them. Alright, so what we have here is the switch that's going to control the power to the motor from the wall and then we have in the next position it's going to control the power to the motor in the base which I still haven't got out yet so let's get that out take off a bunch more screws So we got the base apart. Here we have the motor and some gears and a belt. So that comes out. Keep that aside. The label says 120 volt. So that is a 120 volt AC motor. Alright, so I've disassembled the entire vacuum, and I have disposed of all the stuff I won't use, like the plastic casing and different little screws and all that kind of stuff, and I saved everything I thought I might use. Just remember that if you ever take apart anything like a vacuum or anything that has disposable parts that you have no use for, to properly dispose of those parts. For example, on the vacuum, I recycled all the plastic casing and threw away um, anything that couldn't be recycled, but I try to recycle everything I can when I take anything apart. Having said that, here's everything that I didn't throw away. Let's start off with the motor. It's a 120 volt, 60 hertz motor with the vacuum unit on it that I'm going to take off, and I will show you that in a second. This is just the rubber seal on the vacuum that connects to the chamber. Um, this is the power cord with the switch still on it, so that's a nice switch. This is the part that had all the brushes on it, and this does have a metal rod through it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that out, so this is probably gone. This is the motor from the base. It's 
a 120 volt motor. Um, well, at least it says 120 volts on it, but I'm not sure if it runs on AC current because um, I'm not too well versed in electronics, but this might be a transformer and there are other resistors on it, so it might not run off AC. I'm not too sure. If any of you could help me out with that, that would be great. So this motor is cool because not only does it have um, mounting holes on the front, it also has a threaded shaft, as you can see. That little nut will allow me to take this gear off and use something else on the end of this motor. That's pretty cool. That's not something I've ever seen on a little motor like this. There's also still the circuit board on the motor. Um, I'm just probably going to cut that off and use this with DC. Um, I got the belt off the motor that connected the motor to the brush. Um, it's the same um, tooth pitch as the gear, so it's compatible. I also have a few of these spare from other vacuums that I've taken apart. I think I've taken apart like five vacuums now. This is the gear that went on the brush. So the belt goes around there. And it also has a hole in the center to mount it and two screws on the side that can secure it to the shaft. So along with that, I have these two bearings that are, I think, bronze. So those are nice friction bearings that I can use. I have a couple of these left over from other vacuums as well. And then I just have some random hardware and um, a couple springs. So I have quite a lot of stuff from taking a bunch of stuff apart. And I often use all these spare parts on my little projects because you never know when something weird is going to come in handy. And this is going to go in my box of things I'll probably never use but are too cool to get rid of. Which also includes carburetors and carburetors and random parts that I feel like I might use eventually but probably won't for a long time so I leave them in this really jumbled box of crap. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Stay tuned and maybe you'll see me using one of these motors in a future project. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.